The White House's Office of Science and Technology Policy has released a national strategy outlining a vision to establish U.S. leadership in advanced manufacturing. President Biden signed an executive order on Friday to improve safeguards for U.S. signals intelligence activities and implement the country's commitments under the European Union U.S. data privacy framework. Army Secretary Christine Wormuth said the service needs to do six fundamental things to transform into the Army of 2030, including concentrating highly lethal low-signature combat forces. The Department of Veterans Affairs has partnered with the General Services Administration to procure 140 solar-powered electric vehicle charging stations at 34 locations across the U.S. The State Department has announced a new initiative between the U.S. and the U.K. governments to strengthen cooperation on data transfer and technology development. Cybersecurity should be integrated into the early stages of clean energy deployment to avoid vulnerability of electric power grid operations in the future. DARPA will work with BAT-L, Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, and San Diego State University on a three-phase research project to explore bioengineering methods for separating and purifying rare earth elements. The Solid State Architecture Batteries for Enhanced Rechargeability and Safety Project, which was launched last year, has drawn the interest of various organizations within and outside NASA because of its promising results. Join Potomac Officers Club's Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Forum on October 13, 2022. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. The U.S. Air Force has started soliciting information as it evaluates a business case for electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. The tandem of AM General and defense contractor Iveco Defense Vehicle has made a bid in response to a request for prototype proposal as part of an U.S. Army initiative.